Hey guys, thanks for joining me tonight. I finally got some time this week and I'm going to go ahead and start putting together the base. It's uh, going to be the base for my Grizzly 14 inch 30th anniversary bandsaw. And I'm really excited, so let's get started. So at this point, I've taken all the pieces of the stand out of its box. I've taken the bag of hardware out, which is screws and nuts. And there's a couple of um, threaded knob thingy doies. And I kind of a little misled there because there's no instructions for how to put this thing together. And there's not even a photo of what it's supposed to look like. So unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, it looks like I'm going to have to dig into the big box tonight too and see if there's instructions in there. Unfortunately, it weighs more than 200 pounds. It's going to be a little challenging for me to get it up on the base of my own, so I'm probably not going to be able to um, get it fully put together tonight. It's going to require me finding a friend and asking for help, which is two entirely separate obstacles. All right, so I've looked through the big box, and I see a really cool-looking um, bandsaw. It's in black, it's got Grizzly logo on it, and it's got the 30th anniversary um, emblem symbol written on it that, you know, it's because it's their 30th anniversary and they did a special bandsaw. And um, it looks really nice. And the fact that it came all put together, and I know it's probably been fully tested, is even better for me. Um, because eh, I've never had a bandsaw, I've never used one, and um, it's far easier to see it put together knowing how it's supposed to work than what would have been for me to try to figure out how to make it right. So, um, having said that, there's no photo for what the base is supposed to look like, and there's no instructions that I can find. So, quality control missed out on that one. But, uh, I am a smart guy, and I'm pretty intelligent when it comes to common sense, and I think I'm going to be able to get through this. So, bear with me. As I was saying, there's no plans for how to put this contraption together. Um, I would think it would be a little intuitive, so let me... Let me I think I'm going to go ahead and check the Grizzly website and see if they have um, instructions out there. I believe I saw something out there. This is... Oh, look at the reflection. That's, that's you seeing me seeing you in the reflection. That's how shiny and nice this powder-coated... Um, top is so I'm very gentle with it and trying not to get any um, scratches on it because they were excellent at the way they shipped it and did get the the installation put together in my head the right way and it matched up almost all the way Okay, so at this point, I've got all the pieces put together, and I have them hand tight only. I wanted to make sure I had uh, enough space to be able to move them around and adjust so that the pieces would fit, and I wouldn't end up bending anything. So I've done a good job at that. Um, everything's loosely put together, hand tight. I'll go back and tighten those up a little bit more, 
and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, feet on right now so you can see how I'm doing so so there's a rounded side on the washer and then there's a sharp side and I'm going to put the rounded side against the, the rubber because over time I'm assuming it's gonna dig in and I'd rather just start off with something round and um, so then then we're gonna run a uh, nut all the way down to the bottom there we go now we're holding our our washer on and there's our nut now at this time we're gonna go ahead and put this into the bottom of the base I'm going to put the other washer on the inside of the base and um, I'm gonna do the sharp edge against the uh, actual base itself to help give it a little grip and um, All right, so those of you interested now, this base is about 24 inches tall. It's got a, the feet on it. Give it, a, you know, give it a little play, half inch, quarter inch, whatever you need to take. So the box says this is 42 pounds, and it says the gross weight's 35 pounds. I think it's closer to 42 pounds total. This is a really heavy duty stand. It's very, very nice. Uh, I found no scratches or dents on it. It was shipped, uh, as you saw, wrapped in the um, cellophane paper, and then it was put into the box, and it had um, just a good quantity of styrofoam around it. it, it they didn't skimp out on the shipping of this product at all. Um, it, it's very durable, and the, the actual corrugated cardboard itself is probably close to... Um, three eighths half inch somewhere in there I mean it's it's good quality stuff folks okay so if you find yourself getting one of these and you're looking in your toolbox for the proper size it's going to be a 7 16th and the outside about that much I hope you learned from my mistakes that it's been really a challenge to tighten everything up because I just utterly put it on backwards probably. I'm thinking now that the top of the actual cabinet should have been on last so I could have reached everything. Um, even so, it's still challenging to reach the half inch size nuts that hold on the top. So I'm doing that now. This thing's really heavy. It took everything I had to stand it up and get it out of the styrofoam. So uh, I think what I learned was that even though I opened it up the right way, with, in other words, the actual doors were facing up, which was good because the weight of this thing probably would have bent the doors had I not um, done it the correct way. The problem was that as I started to peel the cardboard away from it, that's when I learned that the manual was at the bottom and um, all the other pieces were at the bottom and they weren't contained within the, the styrofoam. They were, they were put into styrofoam but there was nothing holding them except for the box and as I peeled it away it started to fall apart. So beware, be careful of that. Um, you'll definitely want somebody to help you. Um, there is no way on this earth that I'm going to be able to put this device onto that stand without somebody that is a lot more strong than me and maybe even two people because this this is probably 200 plus pounds by itself the shipping weight on the box says 245 so I'm gonna go with that's probably what it is um, I'm actually going to if I can move it anymore tonight I'm going to secure it to something so that it doesn't accidentally fall over uh, God forbid we have an earthquake or something in in Maryland. Um, but it's been known to happen before, and I really don't want to damage this at all. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And um, 
hopefully the, I've pieced the, get the video together so it's not quite as long as it has been. Um, I did come out here at... I came out here about 7 o'clock and it's 9 o'clock now. So that was about two good hours. Um, things probably would have gone a little bit smoother had I had the instructions. And um, I didn't have to guess where all the pieces went to begin with. And um, it had gone a lot smoother had I had additional help. So... Um, that's on. That's my bad for not asking somebody for help and uh, trying to get it done on a weeknight. So again, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope to see you back soon when I put it, the rest of it together. Anyway.